This is a latest addition to my rifles that I shoot on the bench, shooting steel targets up to 1200 yards. Uh, this is a new addition. It's uh, a beautiful uh, ultra lightweight bipod with the ski uh, slides uh, that you can be used in an AFI class shooting. Uh, those are the Joypod um, from Australia, Joypod X. They are very beautiful, uh, very lightweight. They came actually with this uh, very nice um, carrying uh, uh, case. It's a little padded from inside and uh, comes with, little, with some tools and uh, accessories for you. And, uh, and this is uh, my rifle for this setup. I'm trying to set it up so I can learn how to set up uh, the bipod, get it leveled, and uh, uh, try to use the best uh, uh, way. Like for this rifle, this is maybe the best because if you get to use a traditional bench uh, uh, ears, uh, but what they call it the uh, rabbit ears uh, rear bag it will come all the way to here and then it will will, will hinder your grabbing so i thought that this is will be the, the best for uh this tactile uh um ba uh, tactile chassis uh, from aba and this is a hawa 1500 in six millimeter creed more it's a very accurate rifle uh, uh, around the 0 0.5 MOA with my hand loads uh, using uh, ELDM's uh, 110 uh, SMK or uh, 109 long range hybrid target from Burger, those kind of bullets, even 112 uh, grain uh, batch burners were also 0 0.5 MOA at 100 yards. So uh, this one I added also for this one to test uh, Eric uh, uh, Cortina tuner. It worked, uh, I would say, okay, because if you have a very accurate uh, load, uh, you may not need it, or you have to spend more uh, two shots at least per uh, setting to get it to wherever you'd like to be. But since I, uh, for my the accuracy I needed, which Sabamoe, I did not mind. Uh, having to stop just by after testing a few few shots now people will ask me what's that this is a limb saver they call it anti-resonator i had it before on this rifle this rifle is not a thin barrel so this is for uh the heavy barrel uh the theory is it will cut on the resonance and anything after this side should be less resonance than this side well they said it's uh it will dampen uh, the, uh, the vibration okay I did not uh, so just a disclaimer I did not test before or after so I had this on this one I didn't bother uh, uh, do a test or remove it so it's just sitting there so it does not uh, add a weight or uh, do any harm that I'm thinking of so before this one I had an MDT uh, elite uh, tuner which was perfectly nice and uh, the tuning actually i don't think it did uh, change anything for my load that it will improve more than half a, a moa or make it let's say uh maybe like a 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 especially on this uh uh hunting rifle this is a, wasn't a target rifle to start with uh this is just a 24 barrel uh, factory uh hawa barrel and I kept even the trigger, and but I may have reduced the trigger weight uh, to a little less than uh, the factory, okay? Uh, there is no, uh, on this one, there is no um, uplift kit on this one, so it's still okay. And uh, the trigger is this one is, it has a pull, uh, it's two stage, so you pull, and then you reach the wall, and you can feel it now is getting harder and harder. And let me remove the safety actually here. Okay, so 
Okay, there's nothing in the barrel. We check that. And we're going to pull and go slowly and boom. Okay. I think this is now it's like a 1.5 um, pound on this one. We're going to try again. Okay, it's a crisp, light. It's not super light like a, a bench rest trifle, which is like in ounces. I think this is a, a one MOA. Uh, sorry, uh, this is 1.5 uh, pounds on this one. Now, the rifle, I did some modification as my previous uh, um, post for this rifle. I did this uh, kind of uh, uh, synthetic foam. Okay, um, so you just stick it here and glue it over the hard plastic. And uh, I added this from factory, it came without it. So they charge you like 30 bucks just to add this one here, which is uh, the rubber. It's hard rubber, not very soft, but it's still better than plastic. If there is a matching one, I believe uh, having a limb saver will way better serve you than this one. But I did not bother uh, uh, forming one and installing one from Limb Saver, which I used them a lot on other, other rifles. Okay, I added a, a finger, trigger finger shelf here. So all the time that when you are pulling, your trigger will be ver uh, ver uh, 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 perpendicular to the trigger when you are, when you are lightly grabbing. And this way, all the time, you will be touching at the same position. I have a Magpul uh, uh, handguard, which is also all of those are uh, AR compatible. And the buffer here and the stock could also AR compatible. So if you don't like this, you can change it and put whatever AR stock you like. Okay. This is the AB. Uh, 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 AB, ABA, AB Arms uh, chassis, and uh, it has the, the uh, drop button is here in the in the in the guard. Those are Magpul, uh, low cost Magpul uh, magazines. The MDT are way better. Of course, you get them even longer if you have to load longer bullets. But you, are, if you do have to use uh, 9.955. Um, um, uh, uh, cartridge overall length 2.955 inch you have to open up uh, you have to open up uh, there, the, here there is a, a kind of like a, a bump okay so you have to remove to file it, file it or dremel it out uh, maybe like a eighth, eighteenth of an inch uh, just to uh, have the MDT uh, clear up those uh, uh, one thousandths or hundred thousandths uh, point one inch forward. Okay, for the six point five millimeter or six point five, I'm loading at two uh, at two point eight uh, inches. But of course, if I modify the receiver. Uh, use MDT with no binder, I can run, run longer, but I'm, I'm happy with the, the way it is. Okay, uh, the scope on this one is Optica. Uh, um, it's a, a, a Miop, uh, Miopta Optica 6, and this is an excellent scope for the money. Okay. Um, maybe the, an improvement they can do on this one. There is no stop for the windage. So, which is, I, I think I don't care, right? Um, usually you can hold left and right with the reticle, but if you need to use this, that they don't have a lock for it. Okay, this one has a lock, so you can go up and down and lock with the elevation. Um, it's very uh, tactile, so and you can uh, um, use it very well. Uh, it's tracking very well for me, up to 1,200 yards, maybe like nine mils or so, or 10 mils. Uh, but up further, farther than that, I didn't test it. Uh, so I'm happy with up to 10 mils or so um, to get that on impacts. 
uh, an improvement they can do. Um, the zero stop for this one is very um, unusual to set it up. So you have to open the turret, remove the cap, and there are screws. You have to set up in a way that is unusual. So you have to follow the instruction. But once you do it, you don't touch it again. Uh, so it will stop maybe like uh, less than one mil less, but so it will stop, okay? It's, it's a hard stop, okay? But um, if they did it with toolless mode, that would be fantastic. Or easier way to, to do it, it would be fantastic, okay? The cap is toolless. You remove this with hands. You don't need tools, okay? It's illuminated. You use a coin. Uh, or anything that uh, you can turn off this cap and re replace the battery Okay um, It has also the parallax adjustment uh, It goes from 25 to infinity. It's not stiff or anything like that I'm sorry and uh, You can go to infinity. Okay. Uh, I have vortex bubble here with small window for better accuracy Okay, and uh, finally, with this beautiful uh, X pod or Joy, Joy Pod X, um, once you adjust this one, the elevation that you are interested in, if it, you need to adjust the tilting left and right, you unlock this one, you level this, then you tighten it, tighten this one, this switch here. Of course, this is the quick attach detach to go to the rifle rail. Okay, once you do that, all what you have to do, go down, up, left, right. It's so smooth that it goes vertically up and down and horizontally left and right. And it will track like, like amazing, okay? And um, you can play with these settings. Usually bench rest rifles, they don't have magazine. They are single fed uh, rifles, but this one, you can put it to bend to the side, like I did. It, it comes banded, so you don't have to worry about it. But um, you can uns unscrew this uh, uh, nut, sorry, this uh, setting, uh, setting screw nut here, and then you can adjust it the way you like, okay? And you can turn it left right like this. But this one here is more than enough, okay? And you go up and down left and right okay now if you are up and you need to go left you're gonna get hit uh, the chassis so if you do so then most likely this has to be turned all the way down so to give you some clearance so you go from like this or remove the magazine and then you can adjust it the way you like so it depends but so far i'm very happy with this one so uh, rock solid okay and uh, very beautiful i picked up uh, the copper goldish uh, color which um which is i like it a lot i hope you liked uh, my video it's, it's longer than i expected but i hope you enjoyed it if you like uh, my channel my videos subscribe and like and share if you want thank you